please do not support the upcoming Hogwarts Legacy game. A man has spoken. I promise you, he is a man. I know this to be true because he's been kind enough to indulge those who are not sufficiently evolved to be able to discern from his entitled behaviour and he has very thoughtfully put his pronouns in his Twitter bio. Thank you, Will Overgaard. Now, it seems that Hogwarts Legacy is a game and you need something called an Xbox to play it. Fortunately, I do not possess an Xbox, whatever that is. I mean, I can't make head or tail of them, but the kids seem to like them. Okay. Xbox. So I can obey Will Overlord without even trying. And it gets better. Um, the reason being is that you may not be aware that by supporting this title, you are essentially aligning yourself with some really heinous transphobic values. I did not know that. J.K. Rowling, a.k.a. Joanne, has made it extremely clear that they see the success of this title as being vindication of their transphobic views. Wow, really? I mean, obviously I've been keeping a close eye ever since this woman called her transphobic. I've read her every tweet, every news report quoting her. In fact, there's a fantastic website that has a whole page of links to news stories about her. And I read her notorious essay, which is also linked to from that fantastic website, and in which she cunningly hides her transphobia behind sentiments like these. The writings of young trans men reveal a group of notably sensitive and clever people. And again and again I've been told to just meet some trans people. I have. In addition to a few younger people who were all adorable, I happen to know a self-described transsexual woman who's older than I am and wonderful. Although she's open about her past as a gay man, I've always found it hard to think of her as anything other than a woman, and I believe, and certainly hope, she's completely happy to have transitioned. And I believe the majority of trans-identified people not only pose zero threat to others, but are vulnerable for all the reasons I've outlined. Trans people need and deserve protection. Ha! Huh. We're not fooled. Joanne, you think that by showing empathy, by using preferred pronouns and not saying anything that could be described as remotely transphobic, you are throwing us off the scent of your very obvious and rampant transphobia. Well, Will Overlord knows better. Thank goodness we have a man half my age to put me and all those silly trans people who support Joanne right. Just one thing, Will, it would have been helpful to us lesser mortals if you could have just given us a few examples of Joanne's transphobia, because I've seen thousands of people asking for proof of it, and they never get an answer. It's as if they forget we're not as clever as you are and can't see the nuances. If you weren't aware of all this, I'll do a longer video after this to explain a bit more of the nuances. Oh, bless you. I'll look forward to it. Till then, here's a bit of the Hogwarts Legacy game so you can see just how sinful it is. Hey, the game looks quite good, actually. I'm going to buy it for my nephews.